Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. Uh, in my previous videos, I have uh, shown you some of the child components. In this video, I'm going to make the you know, assembly of uh, those components. So let us start doing this. So let's go to a new file and uh, you know uh, by modeling the child components, we have selected the model. Now we have to select the assembly. So let us keep this name as assembly and hit OK. So this will take you to the assembly workbench and uh, it will start with the uh, add components. So either you can add it here as well as you can go to assemblies and add it. So what I will do is I will just add one component. So you can add all the components as well as you can add one by one. So I prefer to add it one by one. So let us start the base component and now we have here base component. So let us select this as an WCS and click OK. So it will ask you whether you want to fix this component or not. So it's better to fix it here if this is not uh, this window is not uh, pop up for you. So just uh, I'll just what I will do is I'll just uh, show you how to fix this. You can go to assemblies and assembly constraints and fix is the command. You can select this. See you can see here this is already fixed. And make sure in order to uh, check whether the component is fixed or not, you just need to switch on the position. So go to columns and switch on the position. So as you can see here, this is this component is fixed. Let us add the other uh, the second component that is a support. So I'll just open the support component and click OK. And now what I have to do is I have to fix this uh, constrain this. So let us move it on the outside and now what I will do is I will just go to constraints and let us give this prefer to touch this and this should be touched and click OK. Let us move this component a little bit top so that you can able to select this uh, circle so let us go to assembly again and select this and this now we have to make a touch between this face and this face so this is the one face and this is the second face and click ok so this is fixed on the one side and the same component should be uh, come on the second side as well so what I will do is you can just make a copy control C and control make a copy and control V make a paste of it this is the one way otherwise I will show the other way you can just go to add here and add the component again and click OK and you can unpack it as you can see here yes, this is completely fixed and this is not fixed so let us may uh, move it first mm, you can see here you can move at any direction because this is not fixed completely that all the degrees of freedom are uh, active so go to assembly constraints and uh, now what I will do is I will just go to center axis so these two are should be in single axis and the other one is also so now we will go to touch and I will make a touch of this face with this face. Click OK. So these two components are uh, fixed here. Uh, now uh, if you want to check what all the con constraint that we have given to each and every component, you can just select this component and go to de dependencies and you can give hit on this detailed view and as you can see here. And so for this support we have given three constraint uh, those are two are aligned and one is touch this is the way how we can uh, touch select and uh, delete each and every constraints if you want so now the third component is the bush so let us uh, add that bush go to add and open the you know component bush click ok so this is more component let us move it on the top side so here we have and now go to assembly constraints and uh, center axis so let us make this center and 
this center as symmetric uh, center center line and then we can go to touch and let us touch this and this so in the same way we have to uh, you know assemble on the other side so i'll just copy this and paste it unpack it and this is the one uh, this is as you can see here this is not uh, fully constrained so in order to make it fully constrained go to assemblies and uh, make a align lock this is already explained in my previous tutorial so you can go and check it out so why we are giving a uh, you know align lock and the next is this component so let us move it and rotate it by 180 okay now go to assembly constraints so give align lock between this axis and this axis and now we have a touch between sorry between this face and this face and click ok now we have is a lock so let us open the lock and this is our lock and click ok and here it is so let us move it on the top side and rotate it by 90 degree now click ok and go to assembly constraints and now we have an inter center line this center line should match with this and also this face should uh, touch with this face and also let us make this uh, okay guys uh, we have some uh, clearance over here so in this case you can uh, just give a trip here I'll just give us some tip here so uh, you want to uh, you know assemble this component in between these two so in that case what you can do is you can just click, click on a cancel and go to assembly constraint first make it as a concentric width this and now we have here uh, center line so center and you can go to select uh, 222 this is already explained in my tutorials you can go and check it out so what i'll do is i'll just go to shaded let us take it on the top side so that i can able to check it i'll just delete this constraint and let us move it on the top side okay now let us let us go to constraint and center so these two faces should be center with between these two faces so now you can see this is exactly in the center so now we can go to concentric and make this to concentric and click ok now we have a lock here uh, as you can see here on the on this side we have a lock so let us make it as on the top side so we'll just uh, rotate it because this is not constrained completely so we can rotate it and make it on the top side okay now the next is uh, um, we have a key so let us open the key and this is our key bring it on the top side and click ok go to assembly constraints and we can give a touch and then we can make an alarm lock so first i will just make an alarm lap align lock so this with a this center and now we can give touch so that it will be completely constrained sorry so completely touch between this face and this face okay so now at the last we have a pulley so just go to add that pulley uh, here it is click ok let us move this on the top so we have just moved it 
make sure that this is uh, locked with this so this lock should be in a half inside this and half inside uh, this one so that it will be locked to rotate so in that case we can also uh, after giving this uh, constraining this we can just move this on the top side by removing the touch component so touch constraint so what i will do is i will just give this uh, constraint uh, like for example go to assembly constraint and go to center and okay guys go to center two is to two this two faces should be centered with this two faces so that uh, you can see it is exactly on the middle so now let us go to concentric this should be concentric to this you can also uh, you know the you can lock this with a key and by maintaining proper position and this is how this uh, police assembly cons assembly works guys please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as share my videos thank you